Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter sensor to measure your blood oxygen level and pulse rate in real time using an ESP32 and OLED display. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest tech projects. Here, we'll need a MAX 3100 pulse oximeter sensor, an ESP32 board, an OLED display, some jumper wires, and a breadboard. First, we'll set up the hardware, place the ESP32 on the breadboard, then connect its 3.3 volt pin of ESP32 to the positive power rail of the breadboard and the ground pins to the negative rail of the breadboard. Next, mount the pulse oximeter sensor on the breadboard. The MAX 3100 uses red and infrared LEDs to accurately detect pulse and blood oxygen levels. However, a common issue with this module is that its I2C pull-up resistors are tied to 1.8 volts, which causes communication problems with 3.3 volt devices like the ESP32. To fix it, simply cut the 1.8 volt trace and reconnect the pull-ups to 3.3 volts for stable operation. Now wire the sensor. VIN to 3.3 volt, ground to ground, SDA to GPIO21, and SCL to GPIO22 of the ESP32. Then place the OLED display and connect its VCC and ground to the power rails. Connect the SCL pin to GPIO22 of ESP32. and SDA to GPIO21 of ESP32. Next, let's set up the Blink Web Dashboard. Head over to the Blink website, create an account if you haven't, and build a new template from the developer zone. Add two virtual data streams for pulse rate and oxygen level. and use gauges in the web dashboard. Then create a device using the template. After creating a device, you'll receive a template ID, name, and auth token. You have to define them at the beginning of the code. In the Arduino IDE, include the required libraries for the Max 3100 and OLED, and install them manually if needed. Enter the name and password of the Wi-Fi network you want to use. And verify the OLED I2C address. In my case, it's 3C. It can be different for the display you're using. Once everything's ready, select your board and port and upload the code. Finally, let's set up the Blink Mobile Dashboard. Download the Blink app from the Play Store, log in, and follow the steps I show to mirror the dashboard on your phone. Power up the ESP32 via USB. Gently place your finger over the red LED. Make sure the LED is fully covered. Don't press too hard. You will now see your pulse rate and blood oxygen level on both the OLED and Blink dashboard. For reference, a healthy adult typically has a pulse rate between 60 to 100 BPM and an oxygen level of 95 to 100%. Thanks for watching till the end. 